Hi everyone, it's Raza Said here and in today's topic we will discuss about encrypted share preferences. So first of all let me tell you that uh, if you have uh, created share preferences inside your code so you can find your share preferences uh, here uh, through device file explorer okay but first device is connected to your system so here my device is connected and I can see the name of my device so first of all click here uh, device file explorer and inside this you will find a data folder okay inside this data folder when you will open it you will find another data folder okay so just explore this and inside this you have to find your package name so in my case my package name is secure share prefs okay so I'll scroll down and I'll search for my package name so here I found my package name so just open it and if you have created shared preferences inside your code so you will see a folder name with uh, this name shared prefs okay so just explore this and inside this a file will be created with the same name as your package name so this file will contain all the shared preferences uh, which are non encrypted okay make sure okay just remember just double click this file and you will uh, read all the shared preferences that are stored so every user can see your preferences uh, inside their storage inside your package name okay so this is not secure so if you have created encrypted shared preferences so encrypted shared preferences are much more secure than normal share preferences so when you will uh, create uh, encrypted share preferences you can set the name of this file dynamically inside the code okay we will discuss about it later so so if you uh, double click this encrypted share preferences file so you will see that uh, all the values are in cipher text these are encrypted uh, values okay so no user can see your values so this is more secure approach for the share preferences if you want to store data locally okay so uh, for this uh, you will first of all you will need to uh, add a dependency inside your module uh, build gradle and inside here uh, in the dependency section you need to add your uh, security crypto dependency okay so after that just sync your project so when uh, after successful sync uh, inside the main activity let me create simple uh, uh, share preferences for your reference okay so we will compare both uh, simple preferences and uh, encrypted preferences so for uh, simple preferences what we, uh, we do we just uh, first of all uh, let me define a variable preferences manager dot get default share preferences this so this has been deprecated already so encrypted uh, shared preferences is a jetpack component okay so uh, after that uh, you can do so let me put my name here and i'll also put my age and my email okay okay so after that I will just apply these preferences and will commit these preferences okay so after uh, running this code uh, also open this device file explorer so after launching this code just right click and synchronize this so these files will be updated okay so this preferences will create this simple folder okay with the same package name as our package name okay Ap our applications package name so just double click this and the values will be stored here okay so if for example I want to edit this so I can just put another uh, pref phone okay so so after running this code again uh, repeat the step I will again uh, right click this folder and will synchronize this so these files will be updated so I will double click this file and my fourth value will also be stored here see okay so 
this is simple share preferences okay so for the encrypted share preferences we have added this uh, implementation and we have synced our project okay so first of all i'll create a separate uh, function okay private function okay so after that i'll declare a variable name master key allies okay we will have to define master key here master keys dot get or create okay master keys dot this one okay so the master key will be created after that we will just return the shared preferences so we will get the object of our shared preferences so we don't have to create the object again and again we will just call this function for the object okay so in this encrypted share preferences dot create okay so i'll just give here the file name that i want okay for for example here the file name is secret prefs file okay so i just uh, put the file here secured prefs okay so this will be the name of my sorry uh, this will be the name of my file okay so after that I'll have to give context here uh, after this the third parameter is pref key encrypted scheme dot aes256 this one okay and the fourth parameter will be dot pref value okay and dot and this one okay so the second parameter is master key so i forgot to add master key here so this uh, is created now okay so for storing the data here i'll just write uh, get encrypted shared press okay dot edit okay so here i will put the strings for example i'll put the uh, name here which is Raza Said, uh, and I'll copy this. So, age is 26, and phone number is plus 923165245. Okay, so after that, I'll just apply this. Okay, so after uh, this, will create a folder name with uh, this secured prefs. Okay, so let me run the code. So after the successful install, I'll just uh, right click here on this folder and I'll synchronize this. So another file will be created with the name that we have given here in, inside the code, secured prefs. Okay, so whenever I will double click this, so you see that all three values will be created here with the ciphertext. So no one can, uh, you know, uh, decrypt these values and no one can read these values. So this is the most secure way to save the data locally. Your security won't be breached and no user will be able to see your data. So for example, if I want to log the value of this uh, preferences. So first of all, I will write here the name. Okay, name or uh, my name okay with the log okay and uh, i'll just call this uh, get encrypted share preferences okay and call get string and inside this i want to get the phone number here okay so phone and the default value is null for example if there is no phone so return null and i'll put the two string here so this string will be returned so let me just reconnect my phone here and I'll just again run this inside the data folder I'll find another data folder inside this I'll find my package name which is secure share preferences so inside this I will after the successful install I will just right click here and synchronize this I will explore it and just double click this secure press that I've created just recently okay so after that uh, see uh, all the values have been stored here and this log if i want to print this log so in the run i will just press ctrl f for search and i will press ctrl v for paste so see uh, my phone number have been decrypted and i've shown the 
uh, phone number inside my application so no one can decrypt this uh, uh, outside of the application okay so this is the way of creating the encrypted shared preferences and uh, here you have also seen the difference between shared preferences simple and the encrypted shared preferences okay so if you have liked the video if you've liked my content so just like my video and uh, share it with your circle and if you have not subscribed my channel yet so please subscribe uh, click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon for the latest updates inshallah i'll come again with another uh, awesome topic with the brief explanation inshallah uh, till the next time allah hafiz